right, so you are here at, at the Pride Festival. Yes. Right, here in D.C., and you are doing what exactly? I'm here to, to preach the good news of Jesus Christ, that if you repent, if you believe in him, you will be saved. You will be granted to, into everlasting life. And to make people understand, to make people understand that uh, there's only one way to heaven, that is Jesus Christ. It's not by being a good person. It's not by doing good things. But it's by trusting in his work alone. You see in my hat right here, it says Jesus did the work. So when it, what makes this LGBTQ plus event something that you would, would come to? Do you feel like LGBT plus people need to repent? I believe every single person needs to repent. Every single person on this earth. Okay, I'll, yeah, give me yeah. a sec, give me a sec. So I believe, I see this as a beautiful, beautiful opportunity to talk to many people. Like if I go here on a regular day outside of June, it's probably not going to be as busy as this. And I'm telling you the truth. Like I see this as a, a beautiful opportunity. And even though I can't go in there and preach with my mic, I'll be out here and I'll use whatever I can so, to reach so people. Ask a very different question. Do you feel like LGBT plus people need to repent? Not, for, for, okay, being, okay. For, for being LGBTQ plus. Like I said, every single person needs to repent and put their trust in Jesus if they haven't already. That's my that's my answer. Do you think being LGBTQ plus is being a, is, is sinning? That's what the Bible says. Um, what what uh, verses? What scriptures? I can show you scripture. First Corinthians six verses nine. Yeah. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Hey, make sure I'm on the camera. You are. You are. Yeah. Will, will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. So, so listen to that. Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, yep. nor adulterers, yep. nor, homo nor homosexuals, yep. nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous. Can I, can I just stop you right there real quick? Okay. So you're talking to a former pastor. Actually, I'm still a pastor. Okay. Um, so I studied the Bible back and forth. Right. The Bible's been translated over hundreds of times, right? Do you know that? What the, the Bible has been mistranslated multiple. Mistranslated. Yes. Can you show me? Can you show me? Uh, Absolutely. If you go back to the Hebrew, so let's, let's pull it up. I, I will. But first, let me start here. So in 1946, the word homosexual—that was the first time the word homosexual actually entered into the Bible. Do you know that? I, I, I read the, the Bible. Bible. I read the Bible. If you can, if you can prove to me, sure. Because you, you know, it's one thing to say something, but it's another thing to prove it. You know sure. I mean? Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Look it up in uh, King James Version, 1611. Well, King James like, is actually a homosexual himself. What? You should know that. But, 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 See, that's how I know you don't read the Bible. But then, so how is that 1946? I'm sorry? So how is that, how does the word only enter in 1946 if it was written in 1611? Well, he said something else, but yes, sure, go ahead. What does he say? Good. Who tell us? Same thing. What does it say? Yeah. Right, let's see. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. Uh, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor, adult, uh, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will not inherit the kingdom of God. Yep. So what if I told you that the word that homosexual was translated from actually talked about pedophiles and not people who were in same gender loving relationships if you can show me I, I mean go back to the scripture okay so what do you if think you happened to uh to, to sodom and Gomorrah? why was it destroyed do you know why sodom and Gomorrah was actually destroyed i do why i do so so the angels uh was in um who was it lot's house yeah yeah so they came into lot's house with with uh with lot and then there was people outside the door saying oh bring them out here so we can have. Well, I'll, I'll stop you what, there. What was it? So, so, so we can have. The reason why Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed is actually found in Ezekiel 16 uh, 49. And the reason because of that is because that they were haughty, they were arrogant, they were not um, they were not taking care of their neighbors, things of that nature, right? Um, the, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, the reason why Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, which by the way, God decided to destroy okay. before, hold on, before those homosexual acts actually took place. The reason why Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed is because those people were. Um, not looking off neighbors, they were arrogant, they were hotter. Okay, no, that's not true. It, it, it's in the Bible. I, I can pull up, I can pull it up pull, too. Pull, pull up Ezekiel 16 49. I'll, I'll pull, it up. pull up Ezekiel because I think if you're if you are going to be out here, okay, you know, spreading this message, which we all have the freedom to do, okay, I want to make sure that you are informed about what the Bible actually says. Of course, of course, that's, that's it. I agree with that. 
I mean, and, and, and there's no judgment. I came over here because I actually... Nah, you were I, talking about I, I, No, seriously. Seriously. This was the guilt of your sister Sodom. She and her daughters had pride, excess of food, and prosperous ease, but did not aid the poor and needy. Period. That's it. They were haughty and did an abomination before me. So I removed them when I saw it. Period. Where does it say homosexual? Well... What about the word abomination? What kind of sure. abomination is he talking Well, there's about? a lot of abominable things. One of the things in the Bible that, that says it's abominable is rape, which is actually what Solomon Gomorrah is about. When those angels came, they were looking to rape the daughters of Lot and the angels that were in the house. That's not true. He offered his daughters. Where's the... No, did you show you me? That was wrong? Wait, hold and on. You don't think that was abominable? You don't hold think on, offering up your daughters for rape is abominable? Hold on. Just show me where it, where the Bible says that raping is abomination, okay? Give me the verse. So you don't think rape is an abomination? No, 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 no. Let me show me where the Bible says it is, yeah, can, okay? Well, I, can, I, can I read? Okay, can I read I'm this at, verse? No, no, we let him read I'm, a verse. Asking, we no, let him on. read a verse. I, I know, no, hold on. I'm asking sure, you. Can ask me a question. Do you I can think, answer it. Yes, I do. But show me in the Bible. No, no, no. But no, if you are, show me in the Bible where it says rape is But you're a Christian, right? Are you a follower of Jesus? Okay, but right? you asked me a question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah you're not being. You're really. Not being. You, didn't answer, you didn't answer my question. I answered your question. I did. You didn't. I said I think it's I an said, abomination. You, I did answer you do, your question. You do, but you're a Christian, which means the Bible should include that. That's the second that, right? question. That's another question. Okay, go ahead. Let me ask, let me do tit for tat. Yeah, you asked me a question. I asked you one. Yeah. So you asked me one. I answered. Okay. I said I think it's abomination. Okay, but tell me where Scripture says it's an abomination. There are multiple scriptures that condemn yeah. sexual violence. Okay, but sexual violence. I'm um, presenting harm to your neighbor, all of that stuff. So if you would... If my argument, argument is this. From the very beginning, it says... All right, can I read my verse now? Go, yes. Genesis 19.5. Yep. They, they called to Lot, where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us so that we can have sex with them. Right. Bring out the men so we can that have is, sex with that them. That is a condemnation of rape. Have you have to you, who? To, to, hold, to, hold, on, hold on. Have you actually studied the context okay, of? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. But hold, hold on, real quick, because I want to address this. Okay, sure. Have you actually studied the context of Sodom and Gomorrah and what was happening with that city? I just read the verse. All, no, did no, I misinterpret you, the no, verse? No, that was my question. My question was, have you actually studied the context of Sodom and Gomorrah and why that will be an issue? I just told you why the, the, the city was destroyed, but you respect you 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 my, said my, it's my, not. It's because but, of rape. No, I'm telling you, it's not because of rape. My question was have you studied have you studied forget about what you just said have you studied the context of why sodom and gomorrah would be condemned by god because of this he taught us a lesson from destroying that city that's what he brought up many times in the bible bring it back i just asked you do you believe or do you see or have you researched rather have you researched why god would condemn that city tell me i'm asking you have you researched it Tell me. So you have it. So educate so my, me. Educate so, me then because so, I believe what the scriptures say. No homosexuals will inherit the kingdom of God. Same thing. I'm not saying, okay, but, but but understand what I'm saying. I don't believe that a homosexual is worse than a fornicator, than an adulterer. They are all, they all separate us from, so okay, I, I didn't I, finish. I, I, I did not finish. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. They all separate us from God. That's what I'm saying. So if that sin separates from God, it's the same thing with, with fornicating, with lying, with stealing, with every single thing. And the good news is that Jesus paid our fine. He came here to, to pay our fine yeah. in full. And if we repent and trust in his death and res resurrection, he will grant us everlasting life. So I get all of that. My question was very, very simple and very, very targeted. It was about Sodom and Gomorrah. Because many Christians like to use the book of Leviticus as a as a foundation for why they believe being LGBT was wrong. We focus on Sodom and Gomorrah, correct? Sure. I mean, I, I, we, I, I, read, I read the whole, whole Bible, Bible for sure. Yeah, I, I do too, and I believe it. Um, but I believe the verses that were not mistranslated, which has ta happened so many different times. The I don't believe the, the mis... You know, if God's word is kept, was, was preserved throughout time, 25,000 manuscripts all lining up with, the, with, with each other. Do you eat seafood? Oh. Also, apparently we live under uh, the Leviticus yeah, law. Do yeah, do. We don't live under the oh, Leviticus okay. law. There's a new covenant. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Yes. So it's still moral and immoral. So tell me how many times Jesus said being LGBTQ is a sin. I can show. I can show. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. Jesus directly said being. The Bible. So what methods have you studied the Bible? 
I got the Holy Spirit, my brother. So the Holy Spirit. I got the you Holy. What you need to know. Yes, it does. The Holy Spirit teaches me what I need to you know. You to a school. You haven't actually done the actual. You know what? You know what the Bible says. The Bible says the things of God will not be. Uh, I can't quote the exact verse, but it says a natural man. The, 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 the things. The things of. What? What gender is God? God is spirit. He is not. Oh, he's okay. not a. He's not a man. So he's not man or female. No, he's not. Okay, and we are made in the image of God, correct? Okay. We we can bring that up. We can bring that. No, no, no. Don't end it. Come on. Come on. Brother, brother. Because what I want you to Brother, do, brother, brother. Okay, 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 okay. No, okay. No, 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 no. Let, let me talk. Let me talk. No, I can, I can do what I want. I already spoke to them. They said it's cool. But uh, No, sure. But what I want you to do, because it's coming from a pastor. No, you, you, no, you can't bring a verse up and, de and decide to expect me to walk away. I mean, you brought it up. So, so let us make man in our image. What does that mean? What is your interpretation? We've had a 15-minute conversation. I think we're good. Let us make man in our own image. What does that mean? What different, you what different, all right, all right, you, you cool. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. May you repent and believe in the gospel. Yeah, thank you. Research, what, what makes research, us different from animals the Bible, man. and humans? The what differentiates animals and I, humans? I, I, I we are made in the image of God. That's, we are made much higher than animals. Absolutely. We have a personality. Absolutely. We have knowledge. Yeah, we have a there, free will. We time. have, we have the ability to create so something that animals don't have. Out. So I went to seminary for ten years. You brought up a verse, and no, you can't. No, no, you're no, no, walking no, no, away. You, you, you're talking. You, so you're so running. Let me speak. You're I, running. No, I did a. 15 you're running. Minute, I did a fifteen minute interview. You're running, brother. Brother, I, you, I went to I'm not. For ten minutes. You could not give me one scripture where Jesus. Could I showed you plenty. Okay. Well, God bless you didn't show me a single verse where it said, where it said homosexuality is not wrong. God bless you. God bless you. So you guys all heard that. You couldn't show me a single verse where homosexuality is uh is okay in God's eyes. But I've showed him plenty. It says, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. Not the other way around. Not man and man. Not woman and woman. Not same sex. But you guys seek God's grace. That's why you guys want God to bless your lifestyles. That's why you want, you guys go to pastors. You guys go to priests. You guys want him to uh, to bless it. But what happens when, they, when God doesn't? You guys get upset. You guys get mad at priests saying, no, this is right. Because you want your own interpretation. That's 